All right, boys, what are we going to do out on the patio today? Let's see. First of all, jets flying over, disturbing us. Birds fighting with each other. Uh, loud contractor trucks driving by. It's just like uh, an all-around win. Okay, so let's talk about these sin cut knives because Seth at we slash Civivi slash sin cut sent me this one here and it is the scepter okay so it doesn't look like a scepter to me i saw kings with scepters back in the day and didn't look anything like this and this has got black g10 okay and it's got 9cr18 mov kind of steel and can we see that here yeah we can 9cr18 mov now I went on Amazon and I said, Seth, I mean, you need to kick it up a little, buddy. Let's go Mike Carter. So, uh, deep carry pocket clip, flat screws, big opening, go over the lip of your pocket. Can we go left? Yes, either that or you just drilled an extra hole for shits and giggles. No, I'm just kidding. You. Yeah, you can go left hand. Open design, standoffs. Like I said, my card. So when oh, they got natural G10, which is great for dyeing any color you want or whatever, or leaving natural G10 is not a bad idea. And this here is the Insidious Sidious. This is the Sidious, and it is also 9CR18. And you know, Sencut, you get them on Amazon. You cannot get them at your other retailers. And here's why. Because they're trying to keep the cost down. So when they start selling them through retailers, they've got to make allowance for how they're pricing it so the retailer can make his cut. So if they go direct to the consumer through Amazon, it's going to be it help them control the price of the knife and make it less expensive. So this send cut uh, line is made to be very, very price sensitive as opposed to the Civivi line, which kind of started getting out of control, buddy. I mean, it was like getting up to $100 or more for a knife. And it's like, I thought that was the Wii Knife budget line. But then they started doing extra things and all kinds of stuff. So here comes Sencut. Now, let's get the Insidious, or the Sidious actually is its real name, out of here. And let's talk about the scepter. You know, the scepter is a smaller knife. And thank you, Seth, but I'm pushing the black G10 away. Uh, oh, by the way, giveaway, giveaway alert. We're going to give away all three of these knives just for the hell of it. Okay, just for the hell of it. And so this will be one of them, the black, and then the blue G10 Sidious. So all you have to do is just put a comment in the comment section. I'll get the random comment picker to pick, and we'll have three winners. And uh, that'll be cool. Um, and, of course, we will, do, we will uh, choose the winner in uh, a week. Okay? We'll give it seven days to roll. I'll put the date on the, on the title here of when we will draw the winners, okay? So uh, you can tune back in because I'll have a separate video saying you are a winner. So just uh, subscribe to this channel and I ask you as well to follow SendCut on Instagram and just put a comment and we'll pick, pick, pick winners. Here's your lockup, not bad, it's 30%, isn't it? Now, let's see if we'll drop it. Yeah, it'll drop. It'll drop. Just like that. Not bad. And let's do it again. Okay. Let's grab the black G10 one just for the hell of it. Okay. And you want to use the thumb studs? It's perfectly acceptable. It's perfectly acceptable to do that. Or... Backside finger flick, and yes, we can do that. So we've got ambidextrous thumb studs, which is nice. Um, you know, knives with a thumb stud on one side and you can't switch it, or they don't give you two thumb studs, uh, 
Yeah, I don't like that. It's just an unbalanced look. Speaking of balanced look, this is not a frame lock. So they didn't take the, the hacksaw and go, you know, along the scale. It's starting to kind of creep me out a little bit. But this here is a liner lock. It's jimmed here. It's pretty easy to disengage. This is a small knife. It's lightweight, easy to carry, deep pocket clip, ambidextrous. And even though the liner is right hand oriented, I mean, you got ambidextrous thumb studs as well. So, and let's see how much it does weigh, my friends. It's a rock and hold on, hold on. I'll show you this real quick. It's a rocking. 41.50. I think the G10 is that no 42.50 for for the micarta and 41. So that's an extra buck. Okay, it's an extra buck. 2.97 inch blade, so three, and so 72 grams. Let's roll it right back around two ounces, and that's not ounces. This is 2.55 ounces. My car to weigh any less, 2.44. A dollar well spent, my son, well spent. And that is uh, 69 grams, so what do you think? And, oh, by the way, let's just throw the old tape -roo on it. And if I can do this, well, oh my God, I'm trying not to poke that stupid thing through the end of there. Three inch blade and not seven overall, but close. Like, you know, eight and, well, I mean, uh, six, six point eight five, somewhere in there at, god dang it, 17. Yeah, make sure I'm not. 17 and a half uh, centimeters. So it's uh, 76 uh, millimeter length blade, if you, you know. And, oh, let me get these calipers out of here make sure this doesn't blow off the table and 11.8 at 0.46 so it's pretty thin easy in the pocket 0.11 on the blade stock at three millimeter now this is a 0.46 i believe as well 11.7 6 so same thickness as this unknown mystery knife uh yeah, amazing as that may seem, this just seems thicker. Isn't that strange? But I mean, it's this is way deeper, you know what I'm saying? In the pocket, real estate wise, you way better off with a scepter. But I mean, you know, and we all know these M390 paramilitary two knives are so inexpensive. It's just hard to beat that deal. But Lord almighty, I'm keeping that damn thing forever. Um, but yeah, so these are, yeah, inexpensive, 9CR18. I, I like that steel. It's something that you can sharpen without having to go to diamond stones. Uh, it strops up. And, and my friends, it's not D2. Not that I hate D2. I detest D2, but I don't hate D2, no. You know, 9CR18, so chromium 18% way better than chromium at 11 point whatever to 12 percent which is what d2 is which is classified as a semi stainless but not a true stainless so this is better for humid climates and you know less maintenance and stuff of course out here in the desert probably doesn't give a rat's ass one way or the other but okay uh you got jimping on the flipper tap how about that kicks right out now yeah, let's talk about detent let me see if I can fail it. Oh, ah, strike one. Strike two. <laughs> Man, I'm not doing well uh, to fail. Okay, so it's kind of a no-fail detent. So the detent is appropriate. What do I really feel about, like, on a 1 to 10 where almost everything is somewhere between a 3.8 and a 6.0? Um, I'd say it's a 5. It's not difficult to flip open, and thank God it's not real strong detent or you couldn't middle finger flick or, you know, you couldn't do the thumb studs as easy. So, okay, that's good. 
Where's the where's the black one over here? So this is what the G10 looks like. Grippy, not slippy, right? And look at them. Look at those. Come here. Come here, little skill boy, whatever. I mean, this was like on sale at a back clearance rack at Ross Dress for Less. I'm chasing my wife down in this store. No, you're not buying anything. And so I saw that. And then these are from KC Tool, right? And no, of course, that one. Yeah, it is. Weeha. Weeha. So, hey, call Chris Connolly, you know, the guy that did the Kaiser Sheepdog. Call him and get some Weeha bits. Because then the bit you can throw away. And you can keep this forever. <laughs> keep this forever. I mean, when you get a one piece deal, kind of like this, you know what I'm saying? This goes to hell, you're throwing the whole thing away. And some of the drivers ain't that cheap. They're really expensive. So, yeah, these are number eight. So, ah, oh, man, it just feels so good, doesn't it? Being an American and having number eight Torx screws on the body of a knife, it's almost like a religious experience. It's just Some people just don't get this. Is this that difficult? This is a small knife. This is under seven inches. Come on, man. That's centered. No blade player lock rock. Not a problem there. So, really nice. Super lightweight. What are the ergos like? All four will fit. Barely. Big hands, you might be a three-finger knife. You could roll up here, get on this, and eh, let's go ahead and cut the Amazon away. Is this just a one-page deal? No, it's not. So we got the second page that's saying all kinds of crazy stuff here. Smooth, one-handed. Smooth shave, a smooth shave. Okay. Okay, yeah. It's good. Yeah. So, get over here. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Put that liner out there, flip it shut, let it drop, whatever you want to do. It's really pretty frigid friendly, considering the fact I haven't been into this knife. So, this is factory setting, which usually you don't see a lightweight blade just kind of drop that well from the production. Usually you have to go in and maybe adjust it a little bit here or there. So let's see where we need to be on this. I don't know which is going to come off to where. I'm thinking I'm on the wrong side of this already. Probably. Is this the screw side? Yeah, of course. But of course. And there we go. And so we got to go down this side. This shouldn't be tough. Um, this looks pretty good. Oh, crap. But I gotta, yeah, I gotta take this little sucker out. At least one screw because that's going into that that pass through, that standoff. The other screw is going nowhere unless you wanna, unless you want to um, take the scale separately from the liner. And I was thinking I don't need to. Okay, so. Take the other screw out of here if you want to take the micarta off and then the liner off. But lazy LTK, doing it the lazy way. And let me see, what do we got? Ceramic bearings, $41, or is that $42.50, whatever. What a great deal. And, I mean, they skeletonized the liners. Um, you know, they just do a good job, shit. You know, Civivi, we, and then Senka, it's the same parentage. And so, how are you going to complain about that? Lightweight, well done, fit and finish is, is fine. This is a nice little budget gent carry. Um, and it looks decent, but it's really inexpensive. So, you kind of got it both ways. You ain't going to cry if somehow you end up messing it up or you lose it or whatever or your wife steals it from you <laughs> relatives steal it from you whatever i mean so but yeah check it out standoffs are pretty nice they're decent um and wow there's just nothing to it is there and it's clean too take a look 
I mean, that's clean, folks. Yeah. Nothing to complain about there. So here's the lazy way to purge the bearings. Don't do it at all. Just say you did. Oh, hold on. Break. Edit. Okay, now we purge the bearings. Didn't show it on screen, but... <laughs> lazy liar. Okay, let's do this. Come on. You know that you're good to go. And, oh, well, you see the blade stop here? I mean, the stop pin that's internal. So she rolls around here. It stops there and there. There's only two stops to that train. Let's throw this back on. Kind of nice big old bearings considering this, you know, small, you know, uh, kind of gent carry type knife. But I mean, she's big enough to get most of the cutting tasks done that you're going to need to do. You know, like... Uh, opening that big check that's coming in the mail from whoever it is i'm always telling the mailman just send just leave the checks you don't need to leave the bills in my mailbox okay and if we got that lined up yes we do okay keep going keep going okay you're tight so what's your problem oh well, of course it ain't going to go in. You got to use the number eight. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. There we go. Number eight. Don't be late. Number six for the pocket screws. Number eight for the body screws. And did I get this thing locked down too hard? Well, it's centered. Let's see what the drop's like. Yeah, about the way it was. So I didn't, I didn't leave it too much slack, and there is no slack there. So we're all good. All right, send cut. Uh, if you haven't ever, you know, opened the box before, don't worry about it. There's nothing to brag about in there. Just a piece of plastic that your knife goes in. But it's, I mean, it's a reasonably solid box information on there information on the bottom and d stands for brown <laughs> if you didn't know that it says scepter etc etc so um there's that one there's the g10 you do remember this is a giveaway right so put your comment down below sub to this channel follow send cut on instagram and i'm going to walk around behind you to make sure you do those things and you know what we do we love them knives so you guys stay sharp <laughs>